Lateral Thinking, Creativity Step-by-Step -step by Edward de Bono, book summary. Let's go. How do you problem solve in a flash, create world-changing innovations, or just simply trying to get over a creative or a writer's block? Lateral thinking. It is a mindset that encourages thinking outside of the box, exploring unconventional angles, and finding creative solutions. And what better way than to learn from the late Edward de Bono? With faculty appointments at Oxford, London, Cambridge, and Harvard, and over 60 books under his belt. De Bono is pretty much the heavyweight champion of thinking outside of the box with his smarts inside this book. Here are the top five big ideas for lateral thinking. Big idea number one, break patterns. De Bono says the mind functions to create patterns out of its surroundings. The mind's pattern system is incredibly efficient, but it can also be restrictive. De Bono explains that once patterns are established, they become the default through which we interpret new information. For example, De Bono shares an anecdote about a reading lamp that wouldn't work. The person checked the light bulb and fuse, but it was actually the guest who had turned off the lamp by the switch on the base. This illustrates how our established patterns can really blind us to simple solutions. Take a moment. Are the patterns in your mind helping you? Or are they trapping you in a cycle of the same old thinking? Big idea number two, swap vertical for lateral. De Bono contrasts lateral thinking with vertical thinking through various examples. Vertical thinking is sequential and logical, while lateral thinking can involve jumps and provoke new patterns. Consider a scenario where vertical thinking is like digging a hole deeper, where lateral thinking is akin to digging a hole in different places altogether. De Bono suggests that you can't find a new place to dig by simply continuing to dig the same hole deeper. And this metaphor is beautifully encapsulated with the essence of lateral thinking. It's about changing your thought process to explore new possibilities. So have you ever had a moment where a non-linear approach led you to a breakthrough? Big idea number three, deliver analogies. Analogies stand out as an effective method in lateral thinking for their ability to shift our perspectives and lead us to new ways in thinking. I also love analogies. I find them way more effective because they can be more relatable and digestible. De Bono underscores that analogies are not about finding direct comparisons, but about stimulating thought and provoking new patterns of thinking. And of course, here's an analogy. Imagine a traveler in a strange country trying to find a railway station. The way we should be thinking about that is let's pair it with finding one's way in fog. This analogy can lead to considering strategies like seeking guidance, following signs, or even retracing steps, which can be applied to navigating through any unclear situation. What analogies have you found useful and how can you apply those in your day-to-day? -day? Big idea number four, enter and pay attention. Entry points and attention areas are crucial for restructuring information in new and innovative ways. De Bono highlights the significance of all these concepts by emphasizing the choice of entry point can often determine the direction and effectiveness of our thinking process. For example, entering a familiar building through a different door and discovering new passages you didn't notice before. Attention areas also play a vital role. De Bono points out that attention often settles over the most obvious areas but a slight shift in attention can restructure a whole situation. He suggests deliberately rotating attention over all parts of the problem, especially with those which do not seem to really merit it. This is like a detective considering not just the main suspect, but also the least likely ones, which may lead to unexpected breakthroughs. How can you apply the concept of entry and attention areas to your professional challenges? Big idea number five, embrace randomness. Embrace randomness and chance. The use of random stimuli can really provide a large number of different ideas in a short period of time, which might not have been arrived at through the straightforward method of vertical thinking. Let's say we're trying to solve for a more effective way to study, and we were randomly given the word, I don't know, raisin. Now, to me, this random word sparks the idea that, ooh, raisins and oatmeal cookies are super enjoyable or they're nature's small pockets of sweetness. 
which could then be metaphorically applied to the concept of studying more effectively is like, how do we make that more enjoyable? Let's say through chill study music or small pockets of sweetness being the interspersing with tea breaks. And here's a b -b -b bonus tip, be judgment free. Lateral thinking thrives in an environment where judgment is suspended and ideas are welcomed with openness. It is essential to really refrain from immediate judgment and to be receptive to all ideas, regardless of how unconventional they may seem. And it's also something that I've learned in improv that the best scenes are the ones that you're just saying yes and to and you're accepting what is being delivered by your team. How do you remove judgment in your day to day to just bring in the goodness and the best ideas? Here's a recap of the five big ideas. Break patterns to kickstart lateral thinking. Swap vertical for lateral as both ways in thinking help. Deliver analogies to stimulate thought. Enter and pay attention for other unique angles. Embrace randomness to further spark creativity. And bonus, be judgment free to generate the best ideas. Ready to hop off the beaten path? Show some love to that like button if you're inspired. Comment about your lateral thinking moves and subscribe for more enlightened content. Keep bending those thoughts and breaking those molds. Catch you on the flip side of thinking or in the next video.